We'll guide you through how to fix the PS4 error of cannot continue using the app. If you guys find this video useful then please consider subscribing and once you've done that then please consider leaving a like and let's get into this guide. So this error is really frequent in some of the games and for you to be able to fix it you will need to do the following methods and see what works for you. The first one being restarting your console. To restart your console press and hold the PS button on your controller. Then when this section pops up, scroll down once and select the power options right here. Then scroll to the right and scroll to the bottom after you get inside of this section and press restart PS4. If that doesn't fix it, maybe you should move on to the second method. The second method involves you opening up a new, another app while having the game open. So for example, I open Second Son and I got that error. Then I just press the PlayStation button to get back to the menu and I open another application such as Capture Gallery. Then I press the PlayStation button once again and return to the main menu and I open the game that has that error. After I open that game, I just uh, when I get the error pop up again, I just press the X button and it will shut off the other application that I opened being Capture Gallery and it will continue loading inside of the game. Now. If this still doesn't work for you, try the third method. The third method is to reinstall your game. To reinstall your game, you will need to delete it first. To delete it, find it in your main menu, hover over it and press the options button. After you press the options button, scroll down and select the delete button. After you have successfully deleted it, you can go back inside of the PlayStation Store and reinstall it. That should fix the issue as well. If it doesn't move over to the fourth one. The fourth method is a more complicated one, but it should definitely be uh, the closest thing that to a fix that you can find. So basically the fourth method is to rebuild your database. What I mean by rebuilding your database. So there is an option on your PlayStation 4 safe mode that you can use to rebuild your database and rebuilding your database basically fixes any corrupt files that you have inside of your console and uh, doesn't uh, basically remove any of the downloaded stuff that you have on your console or maybe the videos or screenshots that you have recorded so basically it saves all of the data but just fixes the data that is corrupt to access the rebuild database option you will need to press and hold the power button on your uh, console until it turns off. As soon as you see this screen right here, that means that the console is turning off. The next step is to wait for it to fully shut down. After it has fully shut down, we press and hold the PlayStation power button for at least 10 seconds or until you hear a second beep. As soon as you hear the second beep, which I will hear now, I just did, you release the power button. Now we should be accessing PlayStation safe mode. And as you can see, we are right here in the PlayStation Safe Mode. To be able to use your controller in the PlayStation Safe Mode, you will need to connect your uh, PS4 uh, charger to your controller. After you have plugged it in, press the PlayStation button on your controller and now you can use it. To scroll down in the Safe Mode category, you can use the D-pad. And the fifth option is rebuilding the database. Then you should press that and you will have rebuilt your database but you will need to wait for about an hour or or two for it to finish so that is it for this video thank you for watching see you in the next one